Hi guys, I was just about to make um, the garam masala for myself, the whole garam masala. So I thought I might as well show you guys. And you guys might enjoy the video and just see how to make garam masala. So this, guy, this recipe is for you guys that don't know how to mix or make the garam masala. So keep tuned in guys to see how to make garam masala. Thank you. Now garam masala is a must in every Indian Pakistani curry. Um, garam masala normally has been added uh, with, it depends how many spices you want to blend it in with. Normally it's added with 9 to 10 different blend of spices. For example, cloves, cumin seeds, black cardamoms, um, pieces of uh, cinnamon sticks in it, coriander seeds, and much much more it depends on really what you want if it's homemade and remember guys there's a big big difference in homemade garam masala and the one that you buy from the local supermarkets there's a big big difference to the taste to the smell so I, I, I personally myself would recommend homemade garam masala as it's more fresher uh, the smell is different, it's more fresh, nice, the aroma is gorgeous and basically homemade is the best. Well today I'm going to show you a very easy and simple way to make garam masala at home. Um, this is the garam masala I have bought. Like I was saying guys, this is the garam masala that I, I bought from the local supermarket. You could buy this these parts from your local Indian Pakistani superstores you could get from Asda if you're in the UK you could get from Tesco's I bought it from Tesco's myself so I'll show you what you do with this this is um, if it focuses I'll show you guys it's focus yep yeah. it's a 200 gram pack of garum masala and it's it's a whole garum masala this is so remember when you buy the garam masala, make sure you ask or you get the whole one. And the brand is Hira. Hira is the brand that I bought. It's a really good quality product. I've been buying this for years from Hira. And I'll show you next guys what you do and how to make your garam masala. Keep watching. You can mix your garam masala in any food processor, food mixer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my neutral bullet, the magic ultra bullet magic. So this is the cup that I'm going to mix it with. I'll show you guys. Uh, the, the blades look like this. So you're going to need some kind of thing or a food processor that's got these kind of blades because you want the garam masala to be quite fine not fine fine but i'll show you what i mean so these are the blades that i'm going to be using of the neutral bullet so what i'm going to show you guys is now how to make the garam masala so from the packet of the garam masala of hira i'm going to put a few at a time a few garam masala at a time not a lot because you don't want to overfill your machine otherwise you won't get the exact texture and the um, style of garam masala that you actually want so i put in my neutral bullet is about that much that's about i would say about 100 grams 50 100 grams so that's about 50 to 100 grams of garam masala in the neutral bullet so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to shut the neutral bullet going to be quite noisy now guys so sorry about the noise so now what I'm going to do is press the neutral bullet down just give it a few mixes and don't mix it too much because you want to see what you know how the thickness of um, your garden masala because you don't want it too fine it actually depends on you guys if you want it fine fine super fine you could have it super fine but i don't like my garam masala super fine so at the moment you can see 
the texture of that it's not as fine it's still got some bits and pieces in it as you can see so um, I need to do this a little bit more so keep watching guys I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna carry on once again I'm gonna put the neutral bullet sorry guys it's gonna be a bit loud again guys and just keep checking the texture and what type of garam masala you guys like don't mix it too much because otherwise you're gonna get it super fine I think that's fine for my taste and likings so that's the texture guys that I use and the, I don't make it super fine, I don't make it too thick, that's the texture, that's the perfect, perfect, sorry, perfect texture and size that I like my garam masala, you can see there, don't worry about the bits and bits that are in there, you can either put them in the sieve and take them out, but I, I just put them all in like that, so that's it guys that's the way to make garam masala so here it is guys the final product i'll just show you a close-up of the final product how what it looks like that's how the product look like it's amazing the smell when you actually take the garam masala out of the neutral bullet or your grinder is absolutely amazing the aroma is just wow it's absolutely amazing so how I hope you guys liked my little recipe it's easy it's quick it's simple and there you go guys I hope you guys have enjoyed my recipe today so thank you guys and keep tuned in and You'll be watching more videos soon, I hope. Thank you, guys. Bye.